Tupsa people are come out and they make nice. It prove what I said to them. It prove it, you know. I remember say when gunman dead, a whole heap of people come out and make nice. I look at Tupsa people this. I'm not telling you the youth. I run around in the yard and kill him. But some people say, them they over there are still one at the time. Them. I don't know about that still. I'm not telling you what you know about and what you hear about. All right? back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me Wag wag my people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in alright. Give thanks to life and the gathering and people catch your bunks. Them from overseas link that's in my view. No one no really there face you don't pad in the buck, get some one power one. You need to catch your some bunks and no cause we are throwing the ball gear. I say what now? Who dead? Them say wait then man. We are gonna show you where go one power one cause we are telling you say out in the streets like white line. Look at people. Land them now my people, let me tell them my people overseas something. And I saw we catch bunks. Normally with the pan the scene of crime we're over there with the police them and we are here we are going and with the people them here we are going. So next time we're not sending in video, we need to do a little bit closer and give you some audio right now. Anyway, people, watch your guard power, our guard now, we have a little piece of video where we are showing you. Adrian Ranklin and Devon Jones are them, you know. Them are two, yeah. The police them all and pan them should have cut them head back. Can you see? The youth over there they said that kinda. I've been killed over woman. Kill the youth over woman. You understand that? When him kill the youth, guess what him do? Him just call Ricardo Golden and say, Yo, come, come pick me up, man, $15 for you. Me just kill a man, I'm going to the hotel, go put me for stay. You understand? Him now. Him. When they are fired as a big idiot, they know, say, he can't get in trouble for that. This side said, I'm going to pick up him, friend. Oh, him cousin. Should I say his cousin? Can't go down to the hotel right now, there, so. Come back up, him friend, he's going to link up him wife. Take the four thousand dollars from her and take your little fifty dollar lower tight. Ah boy, go cook it, man. <laughs> go cook. So they charge him for accessory after the fact to capital murder. Yo, nobody send them back yard, you know. We know what we don't want them back out here. We have our fair share problem. Make I move on. Then people catch your bunks. We don't have to take a walk, go back right over our lava because the people them say my view. We need the help. Mr. we go on power, go on now. Who dead? We really happen. They say, my view, the police, them are corruption. Mr. say, know that already. So we set a police fast, we don't know. Them say, my view, say the police were killed. 34-year-old Owen Allen, he need for go to jail. Mr. say, what do? Tell me so we can tell the people them. Remember, anything them tell me, I saw me I tell you the same way. Them say, my view, they know say Wednesday. The policeman have a friend, Zane. In front of Owen, catch up in a trouble and then take out cutlass and then chop up each other. And the police come on the scene Wednesday and tell Owen, say, yo, he might kill him. Yeah, everybody around here hear when he said. And everybody know the police. So, I say, what happened after that? The people, them turn out the same police come back Friday. Come, come kill Owen in cutlass. Him, CM1, my view, we need justice. So, I say, no go up in the come yet. They say they come now, nah, really take no talk from them, come like in the come work with the corrupt police. Them, when I go to school, you know, can hold it, you can't do stock and tell the people that I want to tell me. But the people say, My view, in kill Owen. 
for your friend because your friend get chopped up. Just ask the police where your friend get chopped up name. And yes, he said no lie me. I tell police boy, come here. Come, come talk your side of the story. I am waiting. More news. One thing with the police, then they oh, always I got a stupidness, you know. After we go so boom, I'll put up a boy them and say, yo, the boy them forget slap boy. Can you believe it? Police with this a boy in a custody. All murder, yeah. Ah, oh, slap him, they forget slap boy. You think I'm alone, they forget slap boy. We'll make the same round there. Rambo, can I round there too, you know? After I got sons and drink up this bag of liquor. You know what I know where him do? You know what I know where Rambo can I do? The woman was on vacation in Jamaica. We'll call her Miss Knight for the purpose of this story. According to Miss Knight, on Thursday, August 1, she went to a Sands event in St. Anne to celebrate Emancipation Day. But she says the night took a drastic turn. Without revealing the events that led to the incident, Miss Knight explained that she was almost beaten to death by Mr. Dawson. She says Mr. Dawson attacked her because she refused to go home with him. Miss Knight says she was never in any relationship with Dawson. She says he's friends with her friends. They hung out as a group a week before the incident. Miss Knight also noted that she rented a car from him as he's in the rental business. She says Mr. Dawson hit her multiple times across her face. The complainant says she was eventually rescued by Mr. Dawson's friend. Miss Knight says the friend took her to the police where she filed a report. She posted a photo of her face following the ordeal. That photo, she says, was taken a day after the incident. In the photo, one of her eyes appeared blood red. The area also seemed bruised and swollen. Miss Knight is calling for justice. Hey man, drink up this bag of liquor and pop this one holy papil and kill him. Dead him there get so rankers. And because the lady said, no, 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 no. You not get none of this. This I go one back with me. This I say, man, beat her up. Beat her up, people. I find the police, them should have got female, I find her female, don't come and tell man, boy, yo, who they pick him up and carry him behind bars. That don't make no sense. No man not get no justice. No man not get no justice because she just uh, sit back and relax and know, say, yo, he man beat her up because she never want to give him that and rent because I want to just charge him while she got back a fine. If you want to slap him, boy, she not feel better. Me know, come here, sir. Well, and then now people got to go walk down to St. James. And no time for mix up yet. I love too much mix up, man. But the mayor, man, to go be, the brother up on the screen, Richard Vernon, him say he has welcomed the reduction in murder in St. James for the first half of the year. Him claim say murder down approximately 34%. How are give them their stats then in the day today? Not no, sir. We need a municipality where you can do your business and audiences are appreciated. A municipality where fear retreats, replaced by hope. If you are still in doubt about the prospect of hope, consider this. In 2023, from January 1st to August 3rd, murders for St. James were 124. For the same period this year, it is 82, a 34% reduction. This is a testament to the progress and safety of our municipality. Commendation to the parish command and the support that made it possible. So we got some bump left off at NZ, reaching at Kingston. Which probably see Kessan attack at one conference. Me attack Kessan Torp, the permanent secretary in the ministry of youth. I see that on the screen, you know. Me know now I wonder what the conference was about. Ending violence against children. That's what the conference was about, you know. And I decided the message she deliver. So we all have to take responsibility. It's a collective responsibility for the transformation and for us to end violence in Jamaica. It is a collective. It's not a government. It's not a ministry. It is all of us. And it starts with how you parent your child. And I'm not standing here as any perfect parent. I'm a mother of two. And so, so every bit that we do is important. And I'm going to confess that it does take a lot. Because if you can't, you can't give what you don't have. You can't pour from an empty cup. 
So as an adult in the space, as a young leader in the space, you have to take the time to learn. To learn, go to your parent empowerment sessions, read your books. Today's session is not just a preparatory exercise. It is a call to action. It is an opportunity to solidify our national story of resilience, innovation, and commitment to ending violence against children. Let us use the time wisely to forge stronger partnerships, explore new solutions, and commit to bold actions that will make a tangible difference in the lives of our children. So we got some women, we left off for the ends there, and we circle around the OPM side right around there, there. so can we say a long time we hear from Kanju, you know? What has Kanju been up to? But Kanju have a plan. Kanju have a plan, people. Yeah, man. The utility company, them, Kanju have a plan for who, you know? Lawmakers are to strengthen the legislation that governs the operation of utility companies to ensure that customers are protected, particularly during emergency. It cannot be that we have an hurricane, right? And people don't get light all now, but people still get in build. Like, serious? Like, serious? I don't think they are going. So, can just say, put a stop to it and put a fix it to it. And this him say, we have tried not to speak too much on this matter because JPS is a private company. They do, however, perform an indispensable and most important public function, which is regulated under law by an independent utilities regulator, which essentially takes the government out of the regulatory space, but it does not take away the legislative authority of the government and what we are seeing in terms of the return of electricity to some areas of the country it is not being done in a way for which the government is satisfied in fact we are deeply dissatisfied by the way in which electricity is being returned to some affected communities and it does cause me to take a second look at the legislative framework which governs this new space of how utilities are delivered and regulated. It, it would appear to me that there needs to be tighter regulation and it falls on the legislators now to start to look at the instruments that govern how the utility operates and how the utility operator operates to ensure that the customer is protected particularly in the time of an emergency and a disaster. And I want to just make that known publicly here that that process will begin shortly. Thanks for watching. This was a MyView TV production. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, tell a friend for tell a friend. And remember, it never bring nobody forward for cheer for him. What good?